Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, March 8, 2020. It is 5.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. Um, I haven't done a video in several weeks, um, mainly because my mood has been shit. My paranoia is somewhat out of control. Um, the weather really fucking affects my mood. Um, today it ain't so bad in Rochester. It's about 50, 60 degrees outside. Sun's shining, the snow's melting. It's weird. Um, I don't know if it's just Rochester or whatever, but we can have a snowstorm one day like we did yesterday and the next day it's 56 degrees outside and all the snow's melting. And being early March, this is, we're still going to have snowstorms for March. Um, winter doesn't really end for a few more weeks. I believe March 21st is the official ending. I might be wrong about that. I didn't check that. Um, but my mood is better today, so I thought I'd do a video um, about whatever. Um, I guess what I wanted to talk about was the coronavirus. Um, a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of hysteria. First thing you need to know is that uh, don't ask your doctor for antibiotics if you have a viral infection. Antibiotics don't work on viruses, they work on bacteria. And those two things are different. A virus and a bacteria are not the same thing. Technically speaking, a virus is not even a life form. A bacteria is a life form. A bacteria has a cell wall, it has nucleus, it has chromosomes, it has um, a waste product a management. It does all the things that life is supposed to do, and viruses don't have a cell wall. They don't have their own DNA and chromosomes. They don't reproduce the same way other life forms reproduce. Um, so technically speaking, a virus is not a life form. Some people might disagree with me on that, but as I understand the science, a virus actually isn't alive, but it can kill those who are. Um, so if you are afraid of a viral infection, don't use antibiotics because it's not going to work. If it worked, we wouldn't have any bacterial infections and we would, or uh, viral infections and we wouldn't need vaccines. Um, so another thing is that people tend to wear face masks and use hand sanitizer a lot. Um, and I'm not putting down those two practices, but as I understand it, most hand sanitizers rely on alcohol and alcohol kills the bacteria on your hands, but not viruses. I could be wrong about that, but it seems like common sense to me. A hand sanitizer is for antibacterial um, purposes, not to kill viruses. I could be wrong about that. I'm not a doctor. And also face masks. Those tend to work in preventing the spread of the disease, any disease that's viral. If you have the disease, it prevents you from giving it to other people. But if you don't have a particular disease and you're wearing a face mask to prevent catching it, that's kind of iffy. That doesn't work out real well. Um, but again, no one's going to listen to me. Everybody's hysterical and they're going to wear face masks and use hand sanitizer anyways. Um, What's best for your hands, if you have the soap to do it, is to wash your hands with soap and water for several minutes. That will get rid of viruses. Hand sanitizers, eh, kind of iffy on whether or not it gets rid of viruses. But fucking soap and water go a long way in getting rid of viruses, as well as bacteria. Um, so washing your hands with actual soap, it doesn't matter if it's fucking dish soap, doesn't matter if it's bar soap, doesn't matter if it's hand soap. Just wash your fucking hands if you're worried about viruses and bacteria and the coronavirus. Um, if you go to the bathroom in a public place, fuck's sake, wash your hands. You won't be surprised about how I walk into a public bathroom, for example, in the region, regional transit authority system that runs the buses in Rochester, New York, Go into one of their fucking bath 
rooms anytime soon, one of their public bathrooms. Watch how many people stand there for five minutes. Watch how many people go in, go to the bathroom, one or two, and they don't wash their hands when they leave. Wash your fucking hands in a public bathroom. Use the fucking soap and water if they have it. That's what it's there for. Again, washing your hands for several minutes does a lot more than hand sanitizer does. Hand sanitizer is good if you don't have soap and water, but soap and water is always better. It washes everything off your hands. Um, so what the fuck is this shit that keeps popping up? Half naked broad just appeared on my screen. I don't know what the hell that is. Jesus Christ. Um, but anyways, You'd be surprised how many people are in public places where they should be washing their hands and they don't. Um, and that's just going to spread disease even more. It's other people's stupidity that often spreads disease. Um, I, of course, have been vaccinated for the flu. Vaccines, by the way, don't cause autism. That's a fucking hysterical lie. In fact, the scenes do not cause autism. There's no double blind studies to show that it does cause autism or cancer or anything else. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, some ways to avoid the coronavirus is uh, don't shake hands with other people. Don't even do a fist bump. Uh, do an elbow bump. Um, I'm seeing my psychiatrist in, a, I think on Thursday and today's Sunday. Um, he has a tendency to want to shake your hand when he greets you. And I'm going to have a tough time telling him that I don't want to shake his hand. And he should know that he's a doctor. A psychiatrist, but he's a doctor. Um, so I'm not going to shake his hand. I don't want to be paranoid myself about coronavirus. As far as I know, I could be completely wrong about this, but in Rochester, New York, I don't think any confirmed cases of coronavirus have popped up yet. That could change. Um, real fast, that could change. Um, and I have to take the public bus transportation where there's a lot of people to get out to see my doctor and my psychiatrist. I have an appointment with the nurse practitioner on Wednesday. I usually see her for my primary care. And we're going to discuss my smoking and quitting smoking, which I want to do. I've been building up a supply of uh, nicotine patches and nicotine gum. And I've pretty much set April 1st as my quit date for smoking cigarettes. Um, again, I put it off because my mood's been real crappy and trying to quit smoking during the winter wasn't going to work. Um, but anyways, um, just uh, I'm seeing my psychiatrist and my doctor and I have to take the public bus. Um, which means close quarters with other people, sneezing, coughing, all, all nine yards. It's not much I can do about that. I don't have a car. I don't drive. I don't even have a license anymore. Um, because it was too expensive to get the license, cheaper just to get the driver, non-driver's ID. It was like a $90 difference. And since I didn't have a car anyways, I voluntarily gave up my license because it was cheaper to get the state ID than it was to get a driver's license renewed. I could have easily renewed it um, if I had the money or had the money and wanted to spend the money on that, but I didn't. But anyways, I have to take the public transportation to get around, and it's a good haul to get out from where I am in the city of Rochester all the way to the suburbs to see my shrink and see my doctor. They're actually both at the same clinic. Actually, I've seen the nurse practitioner, but she's my primary care provider. Um, and like I said, we're going to discuss my smoking, but, uh, I'm not real happy that I have to take the bus, but I'm not going to stop living my life over paranoid fears of a virus. I don't want to underplay the virus, but at the same time, I have a life that I have to li live and I can only take the same precautions that everybody else is. No handshakes, no hugging, no kissing, um, no fist bumps, um, 
hand sanitizer, washing your hands with soap and water, face mask. I personally don't wear a face mask in public. Like I said, I don't think they work. Um, but uh, it's hard to say where this coronavirus is going. It's killed quite a few people in Italy and China and other places. Um, hasn't taken a real hold in the United States yet. But again, like I said before, that can change real quick. Um, so be safe, be careful, and take sensible precautions.